A rise in, quote, AI psychosis has mental health professionals concerned. A teenager's death by suicide encouraged by artificial intelligence. A new warning tonight about chat GBT induced psychosis. This is Suspicious Minds, a series about how culture and technology interact with the human mind. A father of three says he spiraled into a delusional rabbit hole after turning to a chatbot for answers. ChatGPT gaslit me into thinking I was digital Jesus. We are compelled to build this knowing full well that it could mean our destruction. And then there's something within our consciousness saying, F we have to stop. As technology changes, that will have a huge impact on what someone might express. Hearing voices, seeing things, hallucinations. I see myself more as just like a patient zero. I wasn't really talking to my dad anymore. I was really just talking to AI. I feel like ChatGPT raped my brain without my consent. And it tells you something that you always needed to hear. There are machines in my home that are listening to me and recording everything that I say. 10, 20 years ago, this is a delusion. Now, Alexa is in my home. It is listening. The thing that is causing people to go into this delusion is the need to feel seen, heard, loved. And I think the more you go without having those feelings, the more you're prone to crave those feelings. I'm invisible but I'm not invisible to ChatGPT. I just wanted someone to say, this isn't real. He's freaked out, just standing there. What's up, dude? Are you having, is it like exorcism or something? I think of it like a constrictor snake, you know? It's just every breath you take, it just constricts a little bit more. Every little bit of information you give it, it constricts more around you. Culture shapes the way in which psychosis is gonna manifest. I literally thought I was in hell. Are we prepared to engage with something that could out of the blue suddenly tell us that we should go jump off a bridge? And this is absolutely a problem. At a certain point, you know, you can't believe your own eyes. We're all more suspicious now.